Congratulations, now you have your first Facebook ads campaign up and running. But the next question that you'll be asking is, how do we make sense of all the data that are really coming in? So in this video, I'm going to dive in and help you understand the fundamental metrics that you can see in your Facebook ads manager. Hey, this is Jason. I help businesses grow with effective Facebook advertising. I actually share a lot of videos about Facebook advertising and digital marketing in my channel. Feel free to look around and remember to hit like and subscribe so that you will be notified for future videos about the topic that we are deeply interested in. Now, this is the Facebook Ads Manager. When you have your campaign running, then this is where you'll be looking at a lot of numbers coming in, right? So this is where we will actually take a look at all the numbers that is available on the surface and how can we actually make sense of that, right? So first thing first, we would like to quickly go through about let's ignore the strategy and budget i believe this is quite self-explanatory but really what we are looking at the next thing is of course the results now results is how many conversions that you are getting for whatever that you're trying to get so if it's lead generation then you'll be seeing how many leads that you're getting if you're going for e-commerce then you have all these you know like conversions or ad to cut and stuff coming in now the next one that we have here is the reach and impression now if you kind of have some complication or so-called uh, you find this confusing between reach and impression now the simple explanation will be reach is the number of people that you have reached with your advertisement and uh, impressions will be together these people that you have reached how many times they have seen your advertisement so in between is the frequency so reach times frequency will be the impression so we want to keep the impression low especially on the broad targeting campaign to make sure that we are not overreaching which you know overreaching is not a good thing in a certain sense because overreaching may create ad fatigue which people will start hating your brand and overreaching will also cause budget waste so for a broad targeting campaign you want to make sure the frequency is below two so that you're not you know limiting your ads to a very specific bunch of people and not reaching more people uh, with a campaign however for a retargeting campaign we can tolerate the frequency up to five or depending on the situation sometimes we can even go higher and then of course the cost per result is the average cost that you're getting for every result that you're getting so here's how it works you are not paying for cost per result on facebook you are paying for every time facebook shows your ads a thousand times so the default charging block for facebook advertisement is cpm i want you to remember that so based Basically, CPM is really the cost that you're paying and it's a fluctuating cost from time to time depending on the market situation. So the cost per result is on average, you have shown your ads to people a thousand times and you have gotten X number of so-called results. So that's how they divide the cost per result by the amount you spend together with the, the result that you're getting. So that's how it's like average out kind of thing. So yep, of course, we will look at the amount spent and all that. So this is the basic fundamental so-called metrics you'll be looking at. So I want you to quickly click on this thing, columns and all that, and you'll be able to explore different sets of metrics. Now, if you want to go deeper and understand what are the key metrics that you have to analyze and track, I've actually made another video to talk about this. You can click on the link in the description to find out more about three metrics that you have to analyze to keep track on the campaign performance, to dive deeper on the numbers. So, yep, head over to the description and click on this. So there you go. I hope up to now this video gives you all the things that you need to really learn and understand when it comes to analyzing your Facebook ads metrics. Remember, every single Facebook ads campaign is unique because of the industry you are in, the business that you are running, or the, even the creative combinations that we are using in the Facebook advertisement. So we need to derive a different sets of data when it comes to analyzing the Facebook ads campaign. So if you need help actually to look at your Facebook ads campaign, whether you have a successful one or not, it's very important for us to find out why. Because if you have a successful campaign, we want to leverage on the success to make more money out of it. We want to know how. On the other hand, if you have a non-successful campaign, we also need to find out why so that we can avoid making the same mistakes in the future. So if you need help, I have already leave a link to actually sign up for a one-on-one -on -one Facebook ads audit by me. In half an hour, we're going to dive into your campaign and to find out the actionable plan for the next steps that you can take to bring your Facebook ads campaign to the next level. So please click on the link in the description and we can have a chat on this thing. So if you like this video, remember to hit the like and subscribe so that you won't be missing more videos coming your way about Facebook advertising and digital marketing. I'll see you in the next video.